Our blooper reel. We'll do this for the entirety of the of the laundry. So we're gonna do that again. So I was checking my teeth. <laughs> you actually see it's like a bottom layer. It's kind of gross, actually. I think it's because I've been drinking so much more tea. Ooh, <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Okay. We don't want an adrenaline dump. Okay. <sighs> hey, Let's TJ. How you doing? I'm doing good. Baby, how Georgette. you feeling? <laughs> I'm doing good, Georgette. That's okay. another. That's I'm gonna go like this, baby. How you feeling? <laughs> you should do that. I'm uh, now it's gonna be confusing because I'm gonna look. I'm gonna talk to you here. I'm probably not gonna talk to you here. That's this friends. is a little close. I like, <laughs> like yeah, right, <laughs> right. But this, this is like I like this. So I'm, I'm gonna keep looking at you. So if you look here, <laughs> it's gonna freak me out. But you know, when I say baby, how you feeling? You gotta say feeling good as hell because that's the Lizzo good song. as hell. There Wait, who's, who, who's it? Lizzo. Who's Lizzo? Lizzo. <laughs> Oh my God, when I'm cooler than you are. That's how we can start it. Oh, we're actually, we're still recording this. Yes. What is a Lizzo? <laughs> a Lizzo is a, a singer, a performer. Good for her. Yeah. What does and she do? I would know a song. You got to sing me a song. Sing. Sing for the people. I do my hair. Oh, the one you've been singing. Nails. The one you've Baby, been singing. How you feeling? That's your cue. <laughs> feeling good. Do it again. Start over. Start okay. over. I do my hair, toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? You're feeling fine, fine as hell. hell. Oh, good as hell. Good as hell. Good as hell. But Lizzo is uh, somebody we could actually talk about when we are actually talking about our goals. Yeah. Because this is actually going to pretty good so far. She I think. is um, a singer who tr typically performs overweight. Like she's a big girl. Oh, that doesn't mean like and, she tries to do it. Yeah, and for me, I have on one hand, I'm like. You go, girl. Like, you appreciate your body. You respect your body. That's awesome. Ah, uh, I love not this. not embarrassed Ooh, about it. Oh, I love this it. one. Let's do this. But at the same time, I feel like it gives her permission mm -hmm. to not take care of herself. Yeah, yeah. Can she lets herself yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I love the love who you are, what you look like, everything. I love it, I love it, I love it. But I don't like it when it becomes an excuse for unhealthiness, like right, you just mentioned. Right, 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 it's right. not a fact that I want you to look more attractive. I want you to be healthier. Yes. The 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 Absolutely. extra the extra weight has nothing to do with the attraction. It has everything to do with the just unnecessary added stress that is to your body and to your mind. Absolutely. So that's and, and same thing. If if they like being big and they like eating the way they do, keep doing it. I like I like all women. My mom knows that. <laughs> Boom. Right. I know so, a little bit more than I should actually. <laughs> yeah. See, this is gonna be a good. This see, this is already working. I was gonna say we might just go with. We this should just keep and going. We'll just we should just keep going. Out. Just keep so, going. but we never introduced ourselves. So I'm Georgette. Okay. I am a psychology instructor. Yes. And his mother. Yes, I'm TJ. I am her son, uh, psychology student technically still, and um, working psychology professional. Right. And this is a little installment, the first installment of uh, Let's Talk About It. Okay. Hashtag Let's Talk About It Tuesday, trending now. Get on it. Um, so pretty much what we want to do. Um, is we just want to talk about all things psychology, yes. balance some things off each other, maybe release relieve some stress of our own, and then just hopefully give um, something more positive into your lives. That's I right. Imagine. Educate and entertain is what we Educate aim to do. Yeah, that's gangster. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so the who we already went over the what. Like I said, it's gonna be a podcast every Tuesday. Oh, we should probably decide it now in front of everyone. What time on Tuesday will it be posted? I think we should post it at 8 in the morning. Okay, so 8 a.m. in the morning, Tuesday, every Tuesday. It's going to be 15, 20 minutes of us just doing whatever. Okay, so who, what, right. when. This will be where we're doing it currently, at uh, our house or their house. I'm sorry, I'm just here um, rent-free. <laughs> it's your house, too. Rent-free. <laughs> Gotta love it. And you can even see in the background, look at these cute little pictures. Come our on. Family. Right there. You like it. So now it's proof that we actually are related. So we're not doing this for just a gimmick. So we were going to focus this first episode, because it's a new year, on nope. resolutions. Resolutions, yeah. So tell me what you think about resolutions. Okay. The one thing I'll say that I'm happy about, I've been seeing less New Year's resolutions. That's a fact. Because obviously I'm working, I've worked at a uh, background, I've worked as a fitness instructor for a number of years, and uh, currently, obviously, working therapist um, at a place called Recovia. So both places where you would think have a lot of a lot of resolutions, mm -hmm. a lot of goals in general. And I found that fascinating was even if, when I was going around the table, um, most people didn't have a resolution to relate to, but they identified a goal. Yes. And I love that because that 
kind of is our main issue with it, which is where when you take that date and you make that like the sole motivation as to why you're doing something where it's merely extrinsic as opposed to you maybe making the switch intrinsic. Right? Absolutely. In 2017, 61% of 13 to 35 year olds uh, had a resolution. In 2018, 53%. And so that supports what you're saying. And I think it's considerably less even now. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I like it because I think, I think it ties into what, and there it is. There's our laundry. There's our laundry. <laughs> I love it. Um, shoot, what were we talking about? Bring me back. Oh, uh, we were talking about the number of people who make resolutions. Yes, yes. So it's been going down, which I like to see. And I think that goes back to, I think people are, you know, kind of breaking the mold a little bit. Mm -hmm. People don't have an issue starting a goal January 7th. They don't have an issue starting January 7th. So the, once again, the extrinsic motivation of the date is kind of lessening. And now it kind of highlights if you do actually want to make a change, it's because of you want to, not just because you're supposed to. I start a diet every morning. <laughs> yes. And I fail one every night. So so, it's, so it goes back and forth. But that also uh, ties into like regarding the resolutions. Once again, is my big issue was when it was like November or October. God, even September. Mm -hmm. And yeah. some people would be like, nah, just oh, let's see the new year. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm like, I'm, gonna wait. Like, I'm like, it's like And four, while I wait, I'm months. continuing to do damage. Yeah. Or if anything or else, works. you do yeah. more damage because you're like, I'm starting on the first. Let's yeah. just go. Yeah. And you're just going, choo. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like I know I'm going to start a weight loss diet on the first. Mm -hmm. So if I get my weight up high enough, I'll have more to lose and yeah. be more successful. That's ridiculous. You're already increasing your chance of failure by making it contingent on the time, a time, mm -hmm. a time. No, not a New Year's resolution. Always set goals. Right. Oh, and she just speaking of goals. Sticking to long term goals. So and speaking of resolutions, uh, usually by February, eighty percent of people have failed to stick to the resolution. So damn. I think we can pretty much say resolutions are thing of the past. Thing of the past, right? right? All right, um, let's see. So how do we keep goals? So one thing, mentally prepare mm -hmm. for them. So anytime you have to face any kind of change, you want to mentally prepare for it. Mm -hmm. um, you want to set goals that are motivating, that are manageable. Um, you want to be specific. Here's, mm -hmm. here's where I have trouble sometimes, mm -hmm. and, and people might relate to this. Um, I'll put it like a, for Lent, I'll give up chocolate. But I have not clearly defined chocolate. Mm. Is it brownie chocolate? Yeah, it's brownie it's fudge chocolate. Fudge chocolate. I give myself permission to use like chocolate to flavor, specific. right? Chocolate right, flavor. Right. Yeah, you have to be specific with those goals. You have to break them down into smaller goals. Mm -hmm. um, you need to write them down, mm -hmm. um, share them with others. That's a big one. You yeah, know, almost public shaming sometimes. Mm -hmm. You see those shame uh, videos all the time. Um, incorporate technology when you can because it's mm -hmm. so helpful. Uh, Reevaluate your goals and don't let setbacks defeat you. You probably see that a lot, setbacks defeating people. I think a lot of us yeah. see that happen to a lot of people in our lives. Oh, can you go back to where you're at? Where are you going? Oh, you get notes and I don't get notes? What is that about? This is where you wanted me to go? Yeah, back to <laughs> okay. where, 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 we ha where she had notes and I apparently we're, did. We're going to cut this out, <laughs> right? What, what a day. Oh, what is it? House. Oh, cut it out. Uh, yeah. Or pitch perfect. <laughs> cut off. There you go. Okay, so because I want to talk about some of the things. So, okay. so pretty much everything on that list can kind of divert back to any sort of um, DBT, right? Daily behavioral therapy techniques, mm -hmm. which is something that you can easily Google in it. And, and it is a lot of simplistic things like that, right? Writing out the list of your goals because it's we love to say, oh, I know what to do and I have all these plans, but when it's up here, it's in that jungle and it's that mess and when it's down on a piece of paper, it becomes real, it becomes it concrete. It's like it, we make a contract with it's ourselves. Exactly, it's more of a reinforcement. So yeah. exactly that is setting them and writing it down because as soon as it's written the same thing like you said with sharing, because as soon as it's said, mm -hmm. and then there's all that added pressure. Yeah. So all that added pressure. So you want to be able to, like you said, share it with others and, and not necessarily be ashamed of it. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I think the more we talk about those kind of things, the more people will share. Mm -hmm. They've got their own struggles they're trying to, to deal with as well. Yeah. And so why not help each other out with that if we can? So awesome. Perfect. All right. Now go to what you wanted to go to. I was My just leash. Kind of flipping around. Whatever you, whatever you really want, master. I really wanted to talk about the factors that uh, affect how, if we can achieve these goals. Um, so number one, the goals themselves. We kind of talked about mm -hmm. that already. There is um, an interesting phenomenon with goals. If they're too hard or too easy, we're going to fail. They have to be mm. the perfect type of goal. That's interesting that if it's too easy, we'll still mm -hmm. fail. Because, yeah. Well, yeah, we'll lose motivation, right? We'll right, be like, right. yeah, my goal is to do something silly. I will not work as hard to get it because I don't think it needs to be as, well, as much. Exactly, right. And then self-efficacy, you know, feeling like we can do it. Mm. That's a big, That's big, a big deal. One, yeah. uh, delaying gratification. 
That's Grat- a whole gratitude thing. That list, is, staying present. Hard. Yeah. And then grits. Mm-hmm. Just getting through it. Grits. Just getting yeah, through it. Just yeah. Just digging deep. That's hard to yeah. do for some people. I, there's a quote where it was like, when, I love this because some people wouldn't agree with it, but it's like, when there is no hope, there is only moving forward. Mm. So okay. even if all hope is lost, which is a sad thing, and most likely is never the case, but even if that's the case, then at that point, there's still only one thing to do, which is move forward. Right. Why quit? Right. Might as well move forward. You got nothing to lose at that point. All right. What, you get? what else you got? Uh, self-efficacy. I want mm. to go dive a little back deeper into that because I think that is something that uh, people, especially your generation, um, struggle with. You know, I see this lack of resiliency, you know, little setbacks oftentimes mm-hmm. will knock somebody completely down when mm-hmm. in fact it's just a little setback, mm-hmm. you know, and I think improving self-efficacy will help with that, mm-hmm. um, you know, keeping in mind your past successes you know sometimes we tend to ruminate on our failures Mm, good word choice and so we need to remind ourselves of all these successes that we've had um Mm -hmm. modeling is another key to building self-efficacy um model the success of people like you Mm -hmm. Um, surround yourself with um supportive people that goes to social persuasion Mm -hmm. and then uh, your mental state adopt the right mindsets Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so i think um I'd love to see people really focus, if they have a resolution at mm-hmm. all, is to increase their own self-efficacy. Because they do that, they can mm-hmm. accomplish anything. Yeah, yeah. And, and and to your point, when you talked about how the lack of resiliency in general, um, I heard of this study. I'm not exactly, you can look into this, but they did some sort of study. And they said that college students of today are facing, on paper, the same anxiety levels as people that were fighting in World mm-hmm. War II. It's mm-hmm. not necessarily the external, it's the way that they're looking at it. And kind of what we said about more in this time, we have just so many more distractions. Mm-hmm. And these distractions yeah. are so easy to take us away from those daily behavioral techniques because they're so simple. Right. Writing, reading, anything cognitively stimulating that's going to get you thinking a little more rationally instead of letting the subconscious kind of co- uh, kind of take over. So I always like to kind of just focus in on on like kind of limiting the distractions and raising the connections. Yeah. Right, social connection and everything else. Okay. Have you ever familiarized yourself with the um, the marshmallow test? Oh, hold on, we've got to show the people this. Oh, hold okay. on, we have to show the people this. This is hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is so funny. Okay. This is our wait, 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 wait. That's not a build. That's not a build up. Dum. And me. There you go. That's grit right That's there. That's grit, fella. son. <laughs> I wouldn't fella. That's 160 pounds, son. <laughs> I'm eating that guy now. Eating him for lunch. He's like chicken wings now. Okay. Your I had they, they had to freaking see that. That's that's the first reveal, the first big episode. Ah, okay. So now we hook him. Now we say, you got to, oh, what time are What's we? What's TJ going to show 13? next week? Oh, that's what, why we... <laughs> What's TJ going to show next week? I'm going to run out of things very quickly. That's going to be super scary. Uh, marshmallow test, though, is something hmm. that um, they've done, uh, and we'll attach a link to it in our video so that you can watch that later. But basically, I they, actually don't know what that is. They, that, it's a famous uh, test. They showed uh, they put kids in a room with marshmallows, and I don't know. I, I would I could delay gratification for a marshmallow, but these kids that was a big time candy treat at that time, I guess. Of course. And um, they told them if you don't eat this marshmallow, you'll get another one. Very few children could just leave the marshmallow alone and wait for him to come back with the second marshmallow. Very few. Hmm. Um, but it is a big indicator of future success, being mm-hmm. able to um, delay gratification like that. Yeah. And setting goals is all about delaying gratification. Yeah. All yeah. about delaying gratification. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and sometimes that's hard for us. So that's that's a, something, a skill that we could work well, on. Well, we're our, our own worst critic, right? Yeah, for sure. You know, we, we, we know the worst about ourselves. Um, and even the things that we wish weren't the things about mm-hmm. ourselves. So it makes sense that we would delay that or we could, especially with the increased distractions that we have and looking out, uh, once again, extrinsically or externally for that gratification as opposed to yeah. internally. They say that um, if you can delay gratification uh, at age four, then you uh, at age 14 will be more socially competent mm-hmm. and be better able to handle frustrations. 
Can we move that again? So, children age four. If you are uh, children age four, who they did this test with, mm -hmm. if they are were successful in it, they are better able to handle like social uh, competency and frustration oh, later in respect. life, that and it's sense. a better indicator of higher SAT scores and better grades. Yeah. yeah. And the good news is, maybe at age four, you might have failed a marshmallow test. It's something you can work I on. I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, 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 all that that's showing us is simply one is just ahead right now, or right. one is one has that advantage, and we learn that there's advantages and disadvantages, and we've all faced those uh, from times we still take them and try to improve on them. So right. like you said, it, it could be, if anything, it should be a nice little wake-up call. It doesn't have to necessarily be the end of the world, but it could bring awareness, which is all psychology really is. We're just trying to bring awareness to all the little, little nuances, even the things that we don't even know about ourselves. Absolutely. Such a fascinating, entirely fascinating. Oh, I love it. I know. And, and one of the reasons we wanted to do this podcast is because we wanted to share this passion that we have. And our, quite honestly, our family and friends are getting kind of sick of hearing us. Again. <laughs> oh my God, mom. I think it's, we're a bit obnoxious. It's, it's horrible now. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. I'm, it's, I, I wish I could explain to everybody how terrible it is, but I'm, I'm just, I'm analyzing everybody. I am like, oh, th and I'm just picking up and listening to people and it's. You can't turn it off. You constantly yeah. want to explain behavior or explain things. Or talk about it. Or you see it everywhere and you want to talk about it I and know. share it. Because I still don't get and it. it. Yeah, it can be a little obnoxious, but uh, it, it's so powerful at the same time. Yeah. So powerful. Yeah, it's so obvious. It's so relevant in every second, every stage, any situation right. of our the entirety of our lives. Right. Which I don't think could be said for a lot of other things. Right. Um, so just to, to kind of, uh, recap. Oh, we concluding? Oh yeah. We, we going in. We, we end in it? I like it. Let's, let's cut this. Um, long-term goals. So the key to achieving them is the goals themselves. Make sure they are not too challenging or too easy. Break them into achievable sub goals and write them down. Mm -hmm. And then self-efficacy, build that up. Uh, delay gratification or learn to delay gratification. And just have grit. When you have a setback... Get right back on that horse. Mm, mm -hmm. Do you have any closing thoughts you want to share with them? Daily behavioral techniques. Yep. Still, social connectedness. And I mean real social connectedness. This, not so much. Actually, this, which is Ako Taco. Oh, that's the name <laughs> of this thing. Uh, oh, I do that all the time. What was I talking about? Um, a lot of final, just some final thoughts you had. You were talking about daily, um, their, uh, daily. Oh yeah, so yeah, cognitive simulation. Um, so that's anything reading, writing, anything artistic, anything that gets you away from thinking instinctually or thinking just kind of purely based on emotion, right? Makes you have to think before emotions are felt, and it can better prepare you for that to be the case in other areas where thoughts are dictating yourself more than emotions are. Okay. That'd be my thing. And do that instead of instead of looking on Instagram, just look up a a, a technique for today. Absolutely. Yeah, or and CBT technique. one final thought or other tidbit about psychology we want to share with you is the mere exposure effect. So the mere exposure mm -hmm. effect is the idea that the, the more you're exposed to something, the more you're going to like it. So we're, ta we're asking you. You're going to love this. Keep tuning Thanks. in because you are going to get to really like us if you don't already. So uh, thank you for watching mm -hmm. and uh, tune in next Tuesday ne for... Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about it. it. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, we need to. Wow, that was horrendous. We need a better ending for the next time. All let's, right. And that's us. How do we? What's a good sign? Let's do this. What's like? And that's us tacoing about it. Boom. Uh, about that's it. terrible. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Yeah, that's that's actually really good. Cut. <laughs>